Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Brass 1.16. This series will have two playlists, one edited and one unedited. So make sure you're in the right one before you thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more modded Minecraft and if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm your host, D-Day, bringing you more Brass 1.16. So, uh, unfortunately, we had to cut yesterday's episode because uh, I ran out of time. But now we are inside of this nether fortress. So let's see if we can find ourselves a blaze so that we can start working on uh, making brass in this pack. Let's see. Let's go a different way. Let's grab some of the soul sand. I have a feeling that uh, this might be something good for uh, the the blue colored uh, campfires. Just for an aesthetic difference. Let me see if I can get around this lava. This should be a much more entertaining episode, since uh, we're already at the fortress. <laughs> Alright, so now... Okay, cool. We got some glowstone over here. So let's go ahead and grab this. With glowstone, we're going to be able to make those pa paper lanterns I was talking about. I'm really happy about that. Each glowstone can make a paper lantern. Okay, what can we get rid of? The Crimson Roots. And 59 sounds great. This is a dead end though. Let's grab some more of this Nether Quartz while we're here. Okay. And let's see, can we go... Let's head over the other side. I have a feeling that it's going to be easier to find a spawner if we go up to the top. I think what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a uh, a random spawn of a blaze inside the fortress, which now that I remember, I did switch it to peaceful before logging out because I didn't want to have any surprises logging in. Okay, so let me show you. Yeah, okay, we're on normal now. And this is a healthy supply of nether quartz. Let's grab this while we're here. I feel that since we have uh, the glowstone, uh, now really all we need is uh, to grab a blaze and then get out of here, man. And I'm going. I'm fully going to take advantage of Voxel Maps teleport option. Let's go. We have more now than a stack. Okay. All right. So I guess let's go up. Let's see. Is there an easy way out? Be across the way. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right. Let's see. Is there a way up over here? does look like there's a way up. Let's go up. Oh, we got, uh, we got a scary boy, and we have blazes over there, so perfect. Bang, ah. This musket man. All right, let's eat this nether cheese. Alright, empty blaze burner. Let's see if we can trap this guy real quick. Oh, I can't sprint. Come on down, boy. Let's just go over here. We can either click on a blaze or we can click on the spawner itself. So let's go ahead and get out of here, man. We have our blaze. No, thank you. 
Okay. All right. Blaze burner. Yep, we got a blaze inside. So what I'm gonna do is let's see. I already made a uh, a waypoint for the fortress. That's what I did before logging out. Uh, just in case, you know, I need to come back here probably for blazes. So let's go waypoints, portal, teleport. Ugh, that feels so much better. Okay, let's go home. I am so done with the nether. Whoa. Okay. We're home. Let's go inside. Get 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 out of the rain. Okay, I'm so happy. Cause now let's go straight into this over here. Let's break this block. There we go. We can put our blaze burner down there. He's a sad boy right now. Uh, let's see, we need copper and we need uh, zinc. So let's go eight zinc. All right, and I guess we can put quartz in here for right now and I don't have any copper ready. So let's go ahead and smash some copper. Put this up. Okay, soul, soil, soul, sand, flesh. We got some. We got some building materials that I can work with later. Okay, we got some more cooked rats. Copper. This is going to be important. Weeping vines, another soul beads, glowstone. We have the runes, bones. Okay, do I have copper in here? Yes, okay. Oh, and yeah, let's definitely remake our packs. Oh, we have 14, okay. That is enough to make two packs. Oh, and I left everything in here, so let's go ahead and grab all this stuff again. Okay, I'm good to go again. Okay, so two of these guys, two of these dudes, two of these, Paxel, Paxel, awesome, alright, and let's put the gun back, bloop, the emergency Paxel, and the Paxel, and let's see, yeah, there we go, okay. We got everything good to go, and now we can use the good Paxel to uh, get us some copper going. Whoops. Alright, do I have any? Let's see, can I make it out of the uh, warped? Can I make a chopping block? Oh no, it goes straight into planks. Which is cool in itself, but yeah, I wanted to see if I could make a chopping block that's blue. Uh, here we go. Soon we're going to be done with this chopping block. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, what is that? 14? Let's go. And 6. Okay. Oh, I can't pull it out of my offhand. There we go. Oh, I brought the chests with me. These look cool. And these bullets are awful. <laughs> this musket is trash. All right, torches. And now we don't need this. Drop off the cobble. I think we're get good to go. All right, and yeah, we can make more bronze now. All right. There we go. Clean, clean jelly bean. Full. Let me do this while I remember. Two tomates. Do they have to be side by side? <laughs> okay. We'll make uh, tomato sauce, right? What up, tomato sauce? Yum. Is it nighttime? Yeah, it's a creeper, so it's nighttime. 
Let me make one more tomato sauce. I was gonna, I was planning on making some spaghetti. Okay, and then let me check one thing. Brass. Do I need to turn this into an ingot? Looks like it needs to be an ingot. Forge ingots, copper, okay. Let's go ahead, do this, and then, okay, cool, we're good. Stone. Let's see, anything not eaten yet? Let's go with one of these, two of these. Make a rat burger. Gross. <laughs> Yum. Yum, but gross. Okay. And three. Let's go ahead and break this guy. Grab one of our soul soil. Okay. And let's see, I need one log. The reason why I picked up the soul sand was because of this. Okay, we need three logs. Expensive. For a campfire, I mean. Soul campfire. Let's see, F7. Okay, yeah, it does make light. And it's blue now. Guys, it's blue. I know you probably don't care, but I care. And I think it's awesome. Made, uh, made that grueling trip to the nether with it. Gotta make another one then. Yeah, buddy. Whoops. Okay, and I guess I can use the charcoal that we just got. Blue campfires, guys. Okay. There we go, copper. All right, so now we have eight copper ingots and eight zinc ingots. So we'll toss these in here. Eight. Eight, and we'll feed this starving boy down here. And hand crank. So that we can make brass this way. So this is how you get brass in brass. 116. <laughs> yeah, I love this. Hand crank, because now, uh, now that we can make brass, we can start working on uh, mechanical crafters. And uh, the first thing that I want to make with the mechanical crafter is going to be the uh, rotation speed, rotation speed controller. And then we'll hook that up and get this guy automated. First thing that I want to do is automate this guy. A little blaze peeking out the bottom. I think that's cool. He follows you. And then, yeah. What a satisfying feeling right there. We're in the brass age. Nice. So happy we can make brass now. So the first thing that I want to make with brass is going to be the traveler's backpack. This boy, bad boy right here. Chest, brass, sleeping bag. Let's see. Do I have... Two, three. And can I dye it with one or do I need to do eight? Awesome. Is it the other way around? Is it down here? Okay. Oh, it's two red and one white. Okay. One more poppy. Or red dye, should I say. All right. Red, red, white. Come on, boy. There we go, sleeping bag. We need glass and we need iron. Hi-yo. Iron. And we need to make the two tanks. One, two. Okay. What else do we need? We need four leather and a chest. Chest, and we have four leather. We do not have four leather. We can make three leather from rat pelts that I've been slaying. <laughs> All right, what else can make leather? Rats. Rabbits. Dude, we are... 
I can. Oh, I have I have leather gear, right? Oh, but it's enchanted. And part of me wanted to make an armor stand for these guys. Do I even have? I think I have shears, right? I do have shears. Let me grab some wheat. Two pieces of wheat. We need to sleep. And then uh, I can show you guys what, what I ended up doing with, uh, with our captured cow, Bessie, uh, at the beginning of the pack when I interrupted what we were working on to capture the cow. Uh, I, I, I went ahead and I built a, uh, a pen around her and uh, grabbed a lead, got another cow, and got super lucky there were two uh, sheep on the way and they followed me because I was I was holding uh, wheat so let's go wheat wheat and then I can slay one of the cows hopefully bloop where's the baby cow I hear a zombie on fire somewhere okay the baby cow is down there so let's get rid of the oddball Wink. I saw the zombie was on fire over here. Where'd you come from? Did I eat zombie flesh? Okay, yeah, I've eaten zombie flesh. All right, so we have that. Uh, while I am here, I am going to shear these dudes. Whoa, come on. Let him out of the corner. Got him. Cool. So now we have uh, some extra wool as well. That one. I'm gathering wool this way and also going to be using the industrial hemp to create string and then wool that way so that we have a good amount of wool for the windmill, the create windmill that I want to build in a future episode. All right, excited. We can make the traveler's backpack and traveler's backpack just what I needed all right where does this guy go I think you right click it shift right click puts it on the ground and then can't deploy the sleeping bag let me uh, let's see none can't deploy the sleeping bag Okay, you shift right click. And there should be a backpack key, right? Controls, back, backpack inventory B. Let's go to two key, hotbar, backspace, done. Yeah, there we go. Because I have. Uh, I have a cool mouse that has buttons on the side. Awesome, so now we can have our infinite water source inside of our backpack. Nice, we can do that. Let's, it bothers me that it's not full. Okay, two, there we go. Bucket, bucket. Okay, and here we can place it back down if we wanted to get rid of it. But I just want it for the extended inventory. We got water. We can pull it back out if we wanted to. We could do another fluid on this side, so we could bring lava this way. I think that's cool. Uh, and we have a crafting grid in here, right here. I think that's pretty sweet. Sweet deal. So now uh, when we go... Uh, Resource hunting, I don't have to worry about being uh, overburdened. Let's see, baked potatoes, dried jerky, everything has been eaten, I think. So I'll work on uh, making some more, some more foods that are not eaten yet. I know I had hamburgers up here, right? Onions, cabbage, tomatoes, beef patty, bread. Let's go onion, tomato, we got cabbage over here, 
bread and a beef patty and bread oh let's try it out we can do nice crafting grid i need to get used to that so that i'm not always running back to this crafting table over here because now we can craft uh in our inventory this is just as good if not better than a crafting table on a stick okay drop off this drop off this bing bong oink oink all right we can drop off this i guess let's actually we can move the sticks and the coal in here now for torches we can move the iron in here for iron tools that is awesome the shield can come in here the paper cartridges i might leave them here and the torches i might leave here we can put our foods in here charcoal let's go ahead and use the charcoal to make extra torches and then the brass I can save because we're going to work on mechanical crafters next time. That requires brass casings. And then we can use redstone. We could use a lot of redstone. So I really do feel like we need to dedicate the rest of this episode to gathering redstone. Let's do that. I'm going to grab another stack of... Uh, vegetable soup because it's awesome we can hamburger it up there we go and let's put the the book in here too it's kind of silly torches it's like i'm curious to see if enderman can dodge the musket because if we can one shot enderman with the musket then the gun will have a use to me all right, hand crank, empty blaze burner. Uh, these are quick keys. We can make paper lanterns now. Let me make a paper lantern before we uh, head out. I got a lot of spawners on the way to that I avoided because I wanted to see what is inside, but record uh, what's inside for you guys. There's the glowstone. I couldn't see it. Okay, glowstone. We now have bamboo. Three, four, five, six, and we need paper, right? Two paper, I think. And paper lantern, it's the opposite. Two and six. Six. Two. And paper lantern. So I like this guy a lot. Let's see. Let me put one. Whoops. Let me switch out. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Everything is lit up over here. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Bloop. So you can put these sideways on walls. You can put them on the floor. You can put them on the ceiling. Oh, you can use the axe to hack them down. Okay, so let's see. We're in the center block here. How about right there? See? I love it. It looks great. It doesn't look obnoxious at all. Sweet. Okay, let's go mining. Like I said, I got, uh, I saved up a lot of, uh, what's it called? I can't break it. I saved a lot of spawners for you guys down here. So let's go. Every time I ran into a spawner while gathering regular resources, I turned around. So we got one here. Oop, that is a stray spawner. Let's get our shield out. Oh, well, I, th I thought they all had bow and arrows. Ooh, I need to put this on my hotbar. And I'm good for taking my time to uh, lighting these guys up because we do need the experience so that we can start enchanting. Stray. And. Whoa! Ironclad reinforced steel leggings of latent magic. 
Oh, cool. It has a better ability of being enchanted. <laughs> Neat. That's cool. Is it better? Six and one? Yeah, it's better. Nice. We got another upgrade. We're gonna look mismatched, though. That's that's okay, though. Okay, let me put the shield back. Because it does take up a lot of uh, my visual range. Okay, should we go down? Redstone's gonna be lower, right? Let me show you guys what I've been working on. Right here, I have been uh, farming up limestone. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use limestone yet. I showed you guys the uh, the scoria downstairs. All right. I have to cough real quick. <clears throat> Clear my throat just a little bit. Sorry about that. Yeah, we have the scoria was down here. That's where I've been forming scoria. I found diamonds inside the scoria. That was pretty awesome. Let's go this way. Okay, yeah, there we go. Ooh, now I need the shield again. Nope. Ooh, yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Ugh. Whoa. Three of you dudes. Okay, this is a little bit too many skeletons, right? Huh. And, like, they shoot at each other and then sometimes don't care. Is there a spider spawner down here as well? How much HP does that homeboy have? Seriously. We found redstone. <laughs> Stop spawning, guys. Because your range that it's bothering you. Got him. Bad timing on my shield block there. All right, hey, you too, boy. Get some more spider eyes. What's in here? We got a name tag, Bow of Latent Magic. All right, that doesn't seem too too special. I guess bows wouldn't have stats. One man's trash. Whoa, look at that, it's a different era. Looks like a rat. Oh, is that a wild rat? Let me move the torches next to here. Yeah, there's the spawner. Oi. An enchanting table. Uh, I wasted uh, my diamonds. That's too bad. Oop, redstone. This is why we're here. Let me turn on F7. Boop. Boop. Let's see, maybe there was a zombie spawner up here. The zombie came from over here, I think. Whoops, that's a double tap. Skellies. Wah. Got 
Got him. Let's move some of my food back on the hot bar. All right. A tin. Creepers. Can't block creepers with shields. Hmm. Whoa. Too close. Ah. Too slow. Dimensional shards we don't need. Is that copper? More osmium? Pretty much only looking for spawners right now. Oh, is this. No, it isn't. This is a new place. Okay. Let's grab this copper while we're here. Torch placement is really bad right now. Let's see, anything around here? torches. Whoops. I feel like my trip to the nether has made me less afraid of overworld. Good amount of coal over here, though. Let me know if you guys see anything really cool. Not sure if I need to resupply our iron. I know we're out of bronze, that's why I wanted to pick up the the copper. Let's go. This way. Need to make sure that I look around the edge of my shield so that I don't don't do anything too too silly. Whoops. Where's the redstone at? Grab this gold just in case.
Guess we could hit up bedrock, huh? We haven't touched bedrock yet. There's more gold. And I did see... Let's grab this lapis, because we're going to need lapis sheets. And of course, it's one of those things you can harvest that gives you experience orbs. That's probably our same deposit of scoria, huh? Whoop whoop. Get this tin since it's uh, okay. Since it's on the way. Did I run? Oh, I ran out of room. Shame, shame. Not using my extended inventory. Baby. And a lot more scoria. Diamonds. Thank you. Zomboy. What is this? Silver? I really don't think we're going to need silver until we uh, make Electrum. There we go. Here's some good redstone and coal. So let's go ahead and resupply our coal. Get some experience going. Ooh, we're hit level 30, so we can get a level 30 enchant. If we're super lucky, we can get Silk Touch on the pickaxe, and then I can grab the Nylum from the Nether, and uh, we can have planks taken care of in the Hopper Botany Pot. The bucket really should stay on my hotbar, right? This pack does have more vanilla rules. Nice. Alright. 
really love to find another one of those mega deposits. I'm pretty sure zinc is not the only mega deposit we can find. If we can find something like emeralds, that would be sick, because then I could buy whatever I want from uh, wandering traders. I was about to say, was that an Enderman spawner? That would be glorious. Bloop. Ooh, a double spawner? Neat. Triple spawner. They're falling in from the ceiling, aren't they? Ah, uh, this... Okay. This is a lot of zombies. I think this is the most, the, the most zombies I've ever fought at the same time. What is this, guys? Don't knock me in the ground. I really hope there's not more than being added. Minigun. Get in my booty slaps. Dude. They're com coming in from the ceiling. Where is it? How the How did you make it? Dude. See if I can find. I mean, I don't want to cheese them. I might have to. All right. There's just too many. <laughs> There's no crit. Doesn't give the little sparkles. So I don't know if I'm actually doing critical damage. Serious? Too small. Not very proud that I had to cheese them. But we got torches, so everything's fine. Okay. Let me test out that idea that I had. On this Enderman. Yeah, they teleport projectiles. Lame. Come back so I can try and melee you for an Ender Pearl. see what's in these. These better be worth it. Nope. Is that a uh, Omnetic Steel Pickaxe? This tool has diamond effectiveness against all blocks. Okay. That's so another diamond. Diamond pick. Kind of. And we got some emeralds. The experience was worth more than the loot. Two spawners, though. I could have sworn. Like, it felt like there was a third one. Like, they were falling from the ceiling. But those were probably regular spawns. Cool. Skelly boy. Can you see me? Now you see me. 
you not see me? Don't ignore me. So offended. this weathered limestone this is new this is also create let's set up a waypoint w limestone off done i'll come back and i'll mine some of this stuff got some more lapis what is this silver I have very rarely been finding nickel, and I don't know why, but I feel like I I shouldn't leave those behind. Fluorite. I want to avoid fluorite, because I don't think we need it right now. Fluorite. Yeah, it's mechanism. Makes fluorite dust. Yeah, it's mechanism. Polonium. All right. I don't want to deal with that yet. Lapis. Oh, I see diamonds. Boop, boop. swimming boom, 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 boom. I know you guys probably can't see but there's redstone there and I want it Whoa. Ah. I think I turned at 99 oops all right this is already annoying We got bedrock underwater. That's kind of cool. Blap. And come on. There we go. Uh, uh. Let's get some of those HP hearts back. From that zombie apocalypse we just survived. over here. We got diamonds. Look at that. Making out like bandits today on diamonds. Here's some lapis. Here's some redstone. Let's see. I can't do the torch underwater thing, right? That's probably why they got rid of it. Because people were using the torch maneuver to get their, their breath back. Oop, we can do that. A lot of gold here, wow. Even more gold. Is this kind of a gold mega node? Can meme, meme it. It's yeah. This is more gold than normal. Got some tin. Some zinc. Right. 
Let's go. Whatever can stack. Oh no, it goes into my crafting grid. That's not a good idea. All right, let's see. Yeah, the one thing that I forgot was sticks. I should have brought sticks with me. I'm using, I'm burning through the torches. I'm not paying attention to torch placement. I'm pretty sure you guys are yelling at me for my torch placement. Gabbro, this is mega, mega Gabbro here. Whoa. Hey, there's a spawner down there. And I'm down to two torches, so let's save this. Dude, don't make don't push me out. I'm wanting to take this. It's a little right. What's cool is the spawner is almost completely lit up by the by the lava. Looking around. Whoa! Was not expecting that. Oop. Oh, swimming. You got cool shoes. Get in your shoes. <gasps> Did he? He dropped the shoes. Thank you. Oop. And zombie spawn eggs. That's a thing. Captured. I know there's an enchantment you can put on your weapons to uh, have a chance at uh, the mob you're slaying to drop uh, the spawn egg of that mob that you're busy with. I saw redstone over here. And it's our last torch. Cool. Drowned. This is my first experience with one of these things. So does it do drown just spawn underwater? Is that one of the spawn conditions? Let me know, because I don't know. Whoa. This is not a good idea. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, I don't have sticks, and I can't make any more torches, so let's go ahead and use our voxel map to head home. Teleport. There we go. And good thing I didn't fall into my, my fire. We can sleep off the night. And we can, I guess we can process some some brass. That'd be kind of cool. Oh no, I do need to make a lot more bronze. Because I need to turn them into ingot form as well. This is going to take a while, and I think we're pretty close to the end of the stream for me to clean all of this stuff up. What can we do? What can we do? Let's see. All of our loot... Let's go ahead and... We've done so much already, guys. We could make some foods we haven't eaten yet. We could make some... Can't make brass. Let's make one... Sandpaper. Paper. Oh yeah, I used all of the paper. Paper, we got sand, we got sandpaper. Alright. And I believe I put all of the nether quartz over here. Okay, so offhand, main hand, or is it the other way around? It is sandpaper, right? Oh, I haven't turned it into rose colored. That's what it is. Ooh, it's in my offhand now. So 
so like this rows that's the queue that's a wonderful st wonderful stream today so let's finish off on making some of this rose quartz yum, yum 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 there you go pink diamonds let's see i believe one sandpaper does eight eight cool so yeah Polished rose quartz. So we're gonna need this for the mechanical crafters, the electron tubes, redstone torches, even more redstone for the torches. Iron nuggets, no problem. Brass, we can make some brass sheets. Crafting tables, we picked up some. Cogwheels, awesome. Mechanical crafter will be next. And the first thing that we craft is going to be the rotation speed controller so that we can automate this homeboy right here for uh, for uh, brass. So let's see, where did I, there's the brass ingots. Swoopity whoop. Bonk. There we go, we got some brass sheets. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, if you can, uh, go ahead and hit the notifications on Twitch. Uh, be sure to Hit the notification since I don't stream every Monday through Friday between 8 and 9. And I don't want you guys to be waiting on me and uh, me not show up. So the if as soon as I hit the stream button in the future when streaming will be back up and running 100%. When I hit stream and I log in, if you have the notification set, it will send you, I believe, an email letting you know that I'm on. So you don't have to schedule around my schedule you know if you get the email and you feel like watching i would really love the company so with that uh thank you so much for joining and uh, i hope you have a good night thank you so much for joining me today smash like if you feel like i earned it and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded minecraft every sunday at 11 a.m but be sure to yell boom really loud when you do Loud enough to scare me in Texas.